We are a, a health tech company based in Oxford, and we are enabling a new era of personalized medicine uh, by building a cloud-based library of both disease biomarkers and biological profiles. All right, you're gonna have to break that down for me a little bit. What, what does that mean, a new era of personalized medicine? So up until now, the treatments, the new treatments have been uh, um, developed with the idea that one will fit for all, that one medication will fit for all. And we know that this is what happens uh, in, in the case of Advil and in the case of a lot of uh, medications. But unfortunately, um, the, the, the medications and the, the diseases that are yet to be tackled, like um, like neurogenerative diseases or rare diseases, uh, they're very complex, they're very heterogeneous, and there is a need for a, a treatment that is tailored uh, to your biological profile. And in order to develop that, you need specific tools. Um, and this is really uh, the heart and soul of what Dialog is developing. Uh, we are uh, developing personalized tools to be used on clinical trials by uh, biotechs, pharmas, and hospitals to enable the development of personalized treatments uh, for patients worldwide. Great. So who, who are you actually interacting directly with? Is it, is it the patient? Is it the healthcare provider? Is it the drug company? Of course. So right now we are super, super focused on two things. First of all, making the patient experience during the drug development process more humane. Uh, so working with uh, hospitals, with CROs, uh, and, and basically we are avoiding that the patient is subjected to very invasive and uh, inconvenient treatments like lumbar puncture, which uh, in, in the end, it, it has you uh, with the needle uh, st sticking up your back. Uh, on, on the other hand, we're also interacting with uh, biotechs and pharmas, making the whole process much more efficient uh, and, and, and also uh, flexible for them. Uh, so I would say that uh, we are tackling the problem from both ends. So what, 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 is, what does it actually look like, though, from, from the patient's standpoint? Is the collection of data the same as it basically would be, you know, you going to see the doctor, the doctor inputting the data, or are you using some sort of hardware device? Like, you know, how do things change for me as a patient? Right now, uh, the majority of the analyses that are done, especially for neurogenerative diseases, are based uh, on, on fluid that can only be extracted from your back. Uh, or, or then you can use imaging tools which are very, uh, um, very inconvenient and expensive like PET scan and require you to be uh, one hour inside the machine. So we basically enable the same information, we enable the doctor to get the same information using um, uh, a broadly fluid like blood, so normally a, a blood-derived fluid. Um, uh, and, and we can enable the, the, the physician to get the same information uh, just using your blood fingerprint. Great, and real quick, what, what kind of time frame are you looking at? Right now, we are already creating impact, uh, both with hospitals, biotechs, and pharmas, uh, uh, develop, helping them develop personalized treatments. Uh, we expect in the next two to three years to be in the healthcare market with a risk assessment tool for the patient and also uh, as a companion diagnostic for a rare disease. Great, Luis, thank you so much. Thank you so much.